Just don't know. Mm -hmm. No, sir. There were a lot of people who left the assembly mm -hmm. saying, ah, I'll get it right next time. Mm -hmm. And next time never came for them. Mm -hmm. there, 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 there are thousands upon thousands of accounts from ministers all over this brotherhood who can tell you stories mm -hmm. about people who they urged and begged to get their life together. Yeah. Yeah. And they kept saying, I got time, I got time, and then time ran out. Because you don't know when God says enough Amen. is enough. Right. God is watching. And God decides when enough is enough. And when he decides enough is enough, there ain't nothing you can do about it. Nothing. But surrender to his will and his way. So you're here tonight. And we hope and pray that you have understood the value of living in the but now. Live and be, live like what you have become. You are a child of God. Amen. So live like a child of God. Right if you have, if you realize you're a child of God, you hadn't been quite living like you're a child of God, just repent of your sins. Repent of your sins and confess the fact that you have sinned. James said in chapter 5, verse 16, confess your faults one to another. Pray one for another that you may be healed. It is the effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous that availeth much. Sometimes you just need to stand up and say, I need help. Amen. That's all you got to say. Remember how to pray when you don't know what to say? Amen. Just groan on the inside. All right. Tell us, I need help. And I need y'all to pray for me. Right. We, 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 the Lord know what you need help, man. Right. He'll take it from that. Just say, I need help. I need help. Lord, help me. I need some help. And he'll give you the help you need to do what needs to be done. If you're not a child of God, you have to obey the gospel in order to become his child and be right with him. You obey the gospel by hearing the fact that Jesus died, buried, that he rose again, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. You have to believe that, John 8, 24. You have to repent of your sins. You've got, you got to turn away from some stuff, Luke yes, 13, 3. Yes, You've got to confess the fact that he is the Son of God, Romans 10, 9, and 10, and then be baptized in the water, Acts 2, 38, for the remission of your sins. If you do that, God will add you to the church. God will take care of that, Acts 2, 47. And if you live faithfully unto him, in the end, you hear God say, well done. Yes. That's when you know it was worth it. It was worth it. Everything I had to give up, everything I had to let go of, was worth it. Just to hear God say, well done. Come and respond right now. As together we stand and as we say. Wonder.